Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is May the 15th of 2024, and I'd like to share another prophetic word with you from the Lord today. Just a moment to thank those of you who have been leaving comments, and a special thank you for welcoming me back to my channel. It is good to be back, connected once again with all of you, so that we can encourage one another in the Lord. For those of you who have been following this channel, you will know that the Lord has been speaking about establishing His kingdom in its fullness in the earth. And for me, and I'm sure for others as well, it may be difficult to understand where this fits in on God's timeline. We are seeing the nations being shaken, and maybe we are seeing signs of tribulation. But at its culmination, the Lord is coming to establish His government in the land. This word today is another word that speaks of the Lord's governance and His coming to the nations to set up His kingdom in its fullness. This word is titled, Transformation of Nations. May you be blessed as you hear it today. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 98 verse 9. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the people with equity. This scripture verse speaks of the Lord coming to the nations to bring his justice and his equity. I'll begin reading this word. I shall bring salvation to your shores, says the Lord. I shall leave a remnant among you who will prophesy. My word is a double-edged sword, cutting through error, dividing between truth and a lie. I will position my apostles and prophets to declare my righteous judgment in the earth. Even now I am heralding my truth. Position yourself to receive the whole counsel of God, to embrace the truth being revealed in this day. These are the days of Elijah, for the spirit of the prophet shall arise in your midst and call the people into repentance for the sins of their nation. The truth shall be revealed. All false securities shall be addressed. Hindrances to my word shall be destroyed, for I am indeed coming in my wrath to bring justice and equity to the nations, says the Lord. I will divide the truth from falsehood and bring into account those who have stored up treasures on this earth and have neglected the poor. This is a day when accounts shall be attended to. The vaults of the wicked shall be opened, and their treasures released upon the needy. I shall take out of the hands of the unfaithful, and transfer goods to those without. How shall I do this, you ask? I am about to disrupt the affairs of men, to interfere in daily affairs. You will see how I take that which has been offered to idols, sanctify it, and use it for the furtherance of my kingdom. You shall see how I bring my counsel to the nations, says the Lord, how I address issues that challenge my authority. One God over all will be the cry of the people, for they shall come to understand that I am a just judge, that I show no partiality. 
I will declare my righteous standard in all the nations of the earth, and all will be weighed according to this standard. I do not alter the weights so that they are unjust. Nations shall be weighed according to the standard of the Lord. What nation will stand in the day of my judgment? Are not all the nations of the world found lacking? Justice will prevail in the earth, says the Lord. Weights will not be adjusted according to the understanding of men. So rend your heart and not your garments. Do not think that you are able to justify sin in my midst. All sin shall be judged. I am bringing into accountability all those who hold office, for these are the ones who bear the weight of responsibility for the nations. An unjust king shall be removed from power, and a righteous ruler shall take his place. Leaders shall be brought into account for the works of their hands." Power and honor belong to the Lord of hosts. I am establishing my kingdom in the earth. I shall remove the ungodly kings and establish my governors in their place. I shall execute justice to the ends of the earth. I shall rebuild the ancient ruins. All inhabitants of the earth shall recognize my government. There will be no mistake, for I will establish my kingdom from sea to sea. This is the day of the trampling of the nations, of eviction of sin and idolatry from the land. I have come with a sword to loose the bands of wickedness and to cut off the hold of the evil one. I shall bring the nations into repentance at the foot of the cross. I shall establish my throne in the midst of the people, and all the inhabitants of the earth shall come and bow down and worship at my footstool, says the Lord. This is the day of the establishment of my rulership in the earth. I am bringing in a great harvest of souls through tribulation. This is my desire to turn the hearts of the people back to me. This is the day when the nations shall be brought into humility. Pomp and arrogance shall be no more. I am redistributing wealth, opening the vaults, and taking back what is mine, says the Lord. No longer shall the people put their trust in the work of their hands and the arm of the flesh. I have intervened to stop the free flow of goods to the ungodly. I will transform a nation, bring it into accountability, and justice shall roll on like a river. You will see the shaking of the nations till every man, woman, and child has come to the foot of the cross. In this word today, the Lord is telling us, that he is bringing justice into the earth. His just judgment and his equity, that he is bringing all men into account, and especially those who hold office, those who are in positions of leadership in the land. The Lord is telling us that the unrighteous rulers will be removed and replaced with righteous rulers, and that the Lord is establishing his kingdom throughout the earth. The Lord is telling us that he is bringing the nations into repentance, and that we will see transformation in the nations as he turns the hearts of the people back to him. The scriptures tell us 
that the Lord will judge the nations in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Could it be that this is the day we are living in when we see the shakings that we can know that the Lord is birthing forth his kingdom into the earth and bringing people into alignment with his rulership? that the Lord does not turn a blind eye to the sins of the nations. And so repentance needs to take place to bring transformation. I pray the Lord will give us all strength to stand tall in this day as we see the shift take place, the kingdoms of men falling, and the kingdom of the Lord being established from sea to sea. May our loved ones and all those within our realm of influence submit to the Lord, repent and turn to Him in this day and hour as the kingdom of God is established in its fullness. May the Lord's will be done and His kingdom come. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.